Assalamualaikum and what up YouTube. Alright, hari ini kita nak bincangkan adakah anda masih salah sebut perkataan bahasa Inggeris ini di tahun 2022. Macam mana? Masihkah anda salah sebut perkataan-perkataan ini? Alright, we are going to look at a few words in English which you guys might be mispronouncing. Alright, so are you guys ready? I know I am. Let's go. Okay, the first word for today. Now, if you look at this word, alright, Tengok pada perkataan ini, kita biasa makan benda ni, especially time raya, tahu kan? Orang duduk selalu sebut, biskut Almond London, Almond London, Almond London. So, adakah sebutannya Almond is the pronunciation Almond? Well, I'm sorry to break the news, but actually that is the wrong way for pronouncing this word. It's actually pronounced as, ha, itu dia, Almond. We pronounce this word as Almond, okay? Bukannya Almond, tetapi Amond. L to silent L. It's amond. Amond. Okay. Okay. Next word. Now, bila kita tengok perkataan ni, mungkin ada yang akan tertanya-tanya. Rasa bunyi dia schedule. Tapi ada juga yang sebut schedule. Yang mana satu yang betul? Which is the correct pronunciation? Well, for this particular word, we have two ways of pronouncing it. You can either use number one, American English, which you pronounce as schedule. Bunyi dia J. Schedule. Or you can use British English and you pronounce it as schedule. Schedule. American English, schedule. British English, schedule. Perbezaan dia adalah pada depan dia tu. Ah, kalau American English, bunyi dia schedule. Kalau British, schedule. Okay? Alright, the next word. Ha, ini kita selalu dengar. Police, police, help me. Police, help me. Okay, actually when you say police, that is the wrong pronunciation. Itu sebutan yang salah. Sebab untuk perkataan ini, sebutannya bukanlah polis. Tetapi, ha, police. Police. Dia bunyi macam kalau kita sebut please help me. Tetapi dia police. Police. Excuse me, can you show me the nearest police station? Ah, baru betul. Kalau anda sebut excuse me, can you show me the nearest Police station, police, itu akan jadi salah sebutan dia. So, the right pronunciation is police. Police. Okay. Are you a fan of music? What kind of music do you like? Adakah anda seorang penggemar music? Ah, untuk music, apakah kategori yang anda minat? Okay, kita tengok pada perkataan ini. Genre. Genre. Ha, huh. macam mana anda sebut ni? Macam mana anda sebut perkataan ni? Okey, untuk cara sebutan yang betul, ada dua jenis. Yang pertama, menggunakan British English. In British English, you pronounce this as genre. Genre. Okey? Genre. But, if you are going to use American English, it's pronounced as genre. 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 Ah, so, boleh pilih yang mana ataupun yang mana terasa sedap di mulut. Tak kisah pun yang mana-mana. Janji bukan genre. I'm pretty sure Many people out there love eating this kind of food. Siapa tak suka makan benda ni kan? Dalam bahasa Melayu, kita sebut pizza. Ah, pizza, pizza, pizza dan sebagainya. Tetapi, bila kita tengok kepada cara ejaan dia, seolah-olah bunyinya pizza. Tetapi bukan pizza sebenarnya, tuan-tuan. You have to pronounce this slightly different. This word or this food is pronounced as pizza. Pizza. Bukan pizza. Pizza. Dia ada bunyi t sikit. Pizza. I'd like to have a slice of pizza. I love pizza. Ah, uh, bukan I love pizza. I love pizza. 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 Okay? Alright. Terasa macam DJ Turtle pula suka makan pizza. <laughs> Masih ramai lagi di luar sana yang salah sebut perkataan hari ni. Ha, kita ada Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Tetapi, Adakah betul cara sebutan Wednesday? Kalau kita tengok pada ejaan dia, seolah-olah perkataan dia ataupun huruf ini disebut sebagai Wednesday. But in actual English, we don't pronounce it as Wednesday. We pronounce this word as Wednesday. Ah, dia ada silent D. Okay? Ada silent D. Dan sebutan S tu diganti dengan bunyi Z. Bukan Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Alright? Got it? 
Here is another popular food. I'm sure mostly everybody loves eating this kind of food. Ha, tapi macam mana kita nak sebut ni? Macam mana korang sebut perkataan ni? Adakah salmon? Adakah salmon? Hmm, kejap nak fikir. Salmon, salmon. Betul ke? Ha, tetapi sebenarnya, when you look at this word, this word actually contains a silent L. So, bila dia ada silent L, sebutan dia adalah salmon. Salmon. Bukannya salmon, but salmon. I love eating salmon. My family loves eating salmon. We love eating salmon. Bukannya I love eating salmon. Bukan salmon, bukan salmon. But it's actually pronounced as salmon. Now, here's another famous word. I'm sure those people who are very familiar with social media love to use this word a lot. Okay, tetapi macam mana kita nak sebut perkataan ni? Adakah meme? Eh? Mimi? Meme? Meme? <laughs> okay, alright. Sebenarnya, sebutan ni tak ada kena-mengena pun dengan ejaan dia. Ah, lain sikit bunyi dia. Because this word is pronounced as meme. Meme. Bukan mimi, bukan meme. But this word is pronounced as meme. Alright? Oh my God. I was laughing so loud because of this meme. Ah, bukan meme, but meme. Alright. Alright, guys. The next word. Now, if you look at this word, it sometimes creates confusion among people. Ramai orang yang masih lagi keliru. Macam mana kita nak sebut perkataan ni? Adakah often? Ataupun adakah often? Yang mana satu yang kita kena sebut sebenarnya? Okay, jom saya jelaskan. Untuk perkataan ini sebenarnya, you can actually pronounce it as often or often. Tak salah, dua-dua diterima. Cambridge dan juga Oxford. But in my personal opinion, I think I would like to say this as often. Sebab apa? Dia ada silent T. Sama macam perkataan listen. Kita sebut listen bukan? Kita tak sebut listen. Sebab itulah saya rasa bunyi dia lebih sesuai kalau kita gantikan dengan silent T. So, in my opinion, kalau nak sebut perkataan ini, saya akan sebut often. Tetapi, kalau korang masih nak sebut often, tak ada masalah. Be terima. Okay? Jangan pening-pening. Terpulang kepada anda. Nak guna often boleh, nak guna often pun boleh. Dua-dua be terima. Okay? Dapat sesuatu. Alright, now here is another classic word. Every time you go to someone's house, you will see this in someone's living room, kan? Kat ruang tamu. Dan dia akan cakap, have a seat, alright? Okay, bila kita nak duduk, anda, adakah anda tahu apakah nama benda ni? Of course, kita tahu kan? Sofa. Tapi, untuk sebutan yang betul in English, is it sofa? Sebutan bahasa Melayu betul, sofa. But, in English, we don't pronounce it as sofa. We pronounce it as sofa. Sofa. Bukan sofa, but sofa. I just bought a new sofa. Bukannya, I just bought a new sofa. Bukan sofa. Sofa, kalau cakap dalam bahasa Melayu, okay. But if you are going to use standard English, you have to pronounce this word as sofa. Remember, this word is pronounced as sofa. Sofa. Okay? Right. Nanti cuba. Saya rasa ramai mak ayah yang hantar anak pergi tuition. Ha, betul tak? Untuk peperiksaan, UPSR dan sebagainya. Dan juga PT3 ke SPM ke terpulanglah apa jenis peperiksaan. Tapi adakah cara sebutan dia in English betul? Ha, kita tengok ejaan dia. T-U-I-T-I-O-N. Tapi kalau kita sebut ataupun ramai yang sebut tuition, tuition, tuition. Okay? Because this is not pronounced as tuition. In English, we pronounce it as tuition. I repeat, tuition. Bukan tuition, but tuition. I'm sending my kids to tuition. Ah, ha, I'm sending my kids to Tuition. Bukannya, I'm sending my kids to tuition. No, it's not tuition, it's tuition. Tuition. Alright, next word is, ha. Kalau kita tengok dekat kedai, if kita pergi kedai makan, if we go to a restaurant, then you will definitely have this on the table, correct? Kita pun buka lah menu. Uh, excuse me, sir. Or excuse me, uh, waiter, can I have the menu? Okay, ini bukan menu. Huh? Ini bukan sebutan dia menu. Sebutan menu tu kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, okay. But if you're going to say in standard English, this word is pronounced as menu. Menu. Dia ada sengau-sengau sikit. You have some nasalized sounds to it. Menu. Bukan menu, but menu. Ada bunyi nyeh, nyeh. Right? So this is pronounced as menu. Bukannya menu atau menu. <laughs> bukan menu. Ha? Yang pastinya bukan menu. So pastikan sebutan dia betul. Menu. 
menu. All right, people. Now, this is another word which is very popular among WhatsApp users, especially if you want to say it to someone. All right? We normally say congrats. Congrats. Now, try and think it again. Are you pronouncing it correctly? Congrats. Okay, sebab ejaan ni ada O. So, kena bunyi con lah kan? Tak, sebenarnya salah. Untuk perkataan ini, anda kena sebut sebagai congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. Bukannya congratulations. It's congratulations. Congrats. Okay, bukan con, but con. Congrats. Okay, so after this, if you text someone using WhatsApp, it's congrats. This is one of those things that people really love to eat with, especially if you're eating a hot dog, or if you're eating a hamburger, for example, right? You like to spread the mayonnaise, right? Who doesn't love mayonnaise? But actually, we don't pronounce it as mayonnaise, even though it's spelled with a Y. Walaupun ejaan dia ada Y, tetapi kita tak sebut sebagai mayonnaise. Because in English, this is pronounced as mayonnaise. Maya, mayonnaise. Bukan mayonnaise, but mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Ah, dia tak ada bunyi yeh tu. Bunyi yeh tu tak ada. So, it's mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise on my hot dog. Right? Bukannya, I love mayonnaise on my hot dog. It's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Now, if you're planning to join the military, I'm sure you want to pronounce this name correctly. Ha, macam mana kita nak sebut ni? Adakah colonel? Adakah colonel? Colonel bersara. Ha? Colonel, colonel, major go colonel. Macam mana kita nak sebut perkataan colonel? Adakah betul cara sebutan kita? Is it colonel? Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but this word is actually pronounced as ha. If you are going to use American English, it's colonel. Colonel. Ada bunyi rotik sikit. Ha? Ada bunyi R sikit. Colonel. But if you're going to use British English, it's colonel. Colonel. So, bila anda tengok dua contoh ini, tak ada sebutan punya bunyi colonel. Ha? Bukan colonel. It's actually colonel or colonel. Okay? So, now you know. Alright, yay! Kita dah sampai ke penghujung rancangan. Thank you so much for watching. Now, please do remember, apa yang saya kongsikan ini hanyalah sebutan yang betul di dalam bahasa Inggeris. So, if you are planning to use the same pronunciation that you normally use, kalau kata dalam konteks Malaysia, tak ada masalah. Orang faham je. But if you're planning to go overseas, I'd suggest that you guys do some changes to your pronunciation supaya sebutan dia standard. Okay? Sebutan dia standard. Sama ada anda nak gunakan American English ataupun British English, terpulang. Tepuk dada, tanya selera. Alright, so that's all for now. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and wait for my upcoming videos. Alright, that's all from now. English Dojo has left the building. Adios.